evolution of modern computers we are living in an era of technology and all of us are surrounded by technology this era is now the advanced age of computing technology but it is not there from the early ages of technological development initially the computer is not so updated as well as it is not in hand of the common man computer was that device which only was available to the scientists but nowadays it is easily in reach for everyone computer is used everywhere from hospitals to banks from school to homes from airport to railway station there is hardly a place left without the usage of computers now let us learn about the history of the computer through which the modern computer came into existence history of computers as you know computers are very useful and fast machines but in earlier times there were different types of calculating devices used for performing calculations the first computer was very big and covered the whole room right from abacus the first counting device many devices were invented leading to the development of the computer let us study how it evolved ancient calculating devices abacus abacus was the first calculating device invented in china around 3000 bc abacus was the first mechanical device for calculations developed in china it was made up of a wooden frame with rods each having beads it was used to perform simple calculation like addition multiplication subtraction and division it is still used in asia and africa napier's bones this device was made in 1616 by sir john napier it had numbers carved on bones or strips of wood it was used for addition multiplication subtraction division and to find the square root of a number pascaline in 1641 place pascal invented the first mechanical calculator the pascaline it consisted of a rectangular box with movable wheels it could be used for those basic arithmetic operations just like a calculator but could be used for thousand digits popular it inventions first computer difference engine 1821 charles babbage also known as father of computer started working on the difference engine which is based on the principle of finite differences it uses only arithmetic addition and removes the need for multiplication and division which are more difficult to implement mechanically the project was commissioned by the british government but due to its high production cost the funding was stopped in the middle and the machine was never completed first general purpose computer analytical engine 1834 charles babbage conceived a more ambitious machine the first general purpose programmable computer engine later called analytical engine it has many essential features found in the modern digital computer the machine was programmable using punched cards the engine had a store where numbers and intermediate results could be held and a separate mill where the arithmetic operations were performed the engine was also capable to perform direct multiplication and division parallel processing microprogramming iteration latching conditional branching plus shaping though babbage never used these terms unfortunately like difference engine this machine was also not completed first computer program 1841 world's first computer programmer ada lovelace began translating lugi manabria's italian mathematician records on babbage's analytical engine in 1841 she understood how to make it do the things computers do and she suggested the data input that would program the machine to calculate bernoulli's numbers tabulating machine 1884 after graduation from columbia university school of mines in 1879 herman holrath collaborated with his former professor william trowbridge who had received a commission as a special agent for the 1880 census Over the next 10 years, Hollerith worked on his idea of a machine punch and count cards. During all this time, he was occupied with the problem of automating the tabulation work of the census. 
by 1890 he had designed machines to record statistics by electrically reading and sorting punched cards that had been numerically encoded by a perforation position first analog computer differential analyzer 1930 vannevar bush mit engineer developed the first modern analog computer it was an analog calculator that could be used to solve some specific set of a differential equation a type of problem common in engineering and physics applications which are often very tedious to solve the machine produced approximate albeit practical solutions first working programmable computer 1941 conrad zeus inventor and computer pioneer designed the first series of the z computer in 1936 z1 was completely mechanical and only worked for a few minutes at a time it works in boolean operations and flip flops based on vacuum tubes the use of different technology relay led to z2 and eventually z3 the z3 was built with 2000 delays implementing a 22 bit length constant data and program code was stored on punched film thus no rewiring was necessary to change programs z3 was a secret project of the german government put to use by the german aircraft research institute to perform statistical analysis of wing flutter the original machine was destroyed in 1943 during an allied bombardment of berlin generation of computers similarly as humans computers also have generations the generation is based on the development of technology used in computing first generation computers 1940 to 1956 the first generation of computers was based on vacuum tubes they were large had small internal storage and were very expensive the punched cards and paper tapes are used to input data operating system used was batch operating system some of the examples of first generation computer were mark 1 eniac electronic numerical integrator and computer univac universal automatic computer edvac electronic discrete variable automatic computer disadvantage they occupy lots of space they generate lots of heat the power consumption was too high they were expensive non portable unreliable and constant maintenance is required the speed was very slow used machine language only not versatile and very faulty second generation computers 1956 to 1963 the second generation computers used the technology of transistors so they became smaller in size faster cheaper more reliable better portability and more efficient than the first generation computers they used punched cards and paper tapes as input devices they use assembly language the use of fortran basic and cobol programming languages came into existence disadvantages cooling system was required with constant maintenance only used for specific purposes costly and non versatile punched cards and paper tapes were used for input devices examples of second generation computers were IBM 1401 IBM 350 Univac 3 RCA 501 NCR 300 series etc third generation computers 1964 to 1971 in third generation computers the technology of integrated circuits popularly known as chips are used a chip could contain thousands of a transistor within it because of this they became smaller in size as compared to the second generation computers they were faster cheaper and more efficient the use of the keyboard as an input device monitors and printers as output device came into existence this generation of the computer used operating system making it possible to run many different applications at one time examples of third generation computers were IBM 360 series and 370 series ICL 1900 Univac 1108 Apple 1 and Univac AC 9000 etc fourth generation computers 1972 to present 
The fourth generation of computers is the one which we are using nowadays. The development of microprocessor technology brought a revolution in the generation of computers. Microprocessors are combinations of thousands of integrated circuits onto a single silicon chip using VLSI, very large scale integration, and ULSI, ultra large scale integration techniques. Besides monitor and printer, various new devices such as plotters and speakers have evolved as output devices. These computers are smaller, efficient, reliable, having large storage capacity, very powerful and multitasking. The present day computer laid the base for the development of networking technology and internet. Examples of fourth generation computers are desktop computers, Apple Macintosh, IBM PC, etc. An IC containing about 100 components is called LSI, Large Scale Integration. An IC containing more than 1000 components is called VLSI, Very Large Scale Integration. Fifth Generation Computer, Present Future The fifth generation of computers is also known as supercomputers. This will use ULSI, Ultra Large Scale Integration Chips. They have very high performance speed, storage capacity and can carry out complex calculations which leads to its use in weather forecasting, research and development, etc. The examples are Cray SC300. The first supercomputer of India was Param 8000, year 1991. The main drawback of computers was that they cannot think on their own, but in the fifth generation of computer, a new branch of computer science was brought into focus, known as AI, Artificial Intelligence. AI is a branch of computer science which deals with making the computer think and take decisions like human beings, overcoming its drawbacks. So, the fifth generation of computers will have the power of human intelligence and power of reasoning. These computers are still in the development stage. Types of Computers Computer has become an integral part of our life. In our day-to-day -day work, it helps us in many ways. Computers are becoming more and more advanced every day. There are different types of computers having different features and depending upon our need, we select the type of computer for our use. List of computers based on size. Supercomputer. Mainframe computers. Workstations. Mini computers. Microcomputers. Laptop and palm top computers. Multimedia computers. Supercomputer. Computers having multi user, multi processor, high efficiency, and storing capacity are called supercomputers. These can solve difficult and complex problems with a nanosecond. Several RISC reduced instruction set computer processors are used. Its word length is 64 bits. Applications of supercomputer used to forecast the weather and global climates, used in military research and defense systems, in automobile, aircraft and spacecraft designing, in encrypting and decoding sensitive intelligence information, used in seismography, plasma and nuclear research, protein folding analysis, study of DNA structure and gene engineering, digital film rendering. Example, CTAC, Center for Development of Advanced Computer of India has developed Param series of supercomputer. Anurag is also an Indian supercomputer. Other supercomputers are Cree, XMP14, CDC205, etc. Mr. C. McCree was a pioneer person in the field of supercomputer production. He had developed the first supercomputer, Cree 1, in 1976. Mainframe computer. It is also a very powerful multi user computer used in large business organizations, examination department of examinations, industry, and defense to process data of complex nature. It can respond to several hundred requests very quickly. It uses several CPU for data processing. More than 100 users can use 
mainframe computers at a time because it works on time sharing mode its word length is 48 bits to 64 bits ibm built the first mainframe computer system 360 in 1964 example ibm s390 ibm s709 icl39 cdc6600 applications of mainframe computer government and civilian credit card processing banks marketing business data processing in large organizations air traffic control system industrial design mini computer mini computers are larger and more powerful than most microcomputers but are smaller and less powerful than most large mainframe computer systems however this is not a precise destination high end models of a microcomputer system super micros are more powerful than some mid range computers while high end models of mid range systems super mini are more powerful than some smaller models of mainframe computers it is also a multi user computer and supports more than dozens of people at a time it is costlier than microcomputer it is also used in university large business organizations to process complex data it is also used in scientific research instrumentation system engineering analysis and industrial process monitoring and control microcomputer in 1976 the first personal computer apple 1 apple computer was designed in 1981 august ibm had announced the ibm 5150 pc in new york nowadays mostly used computers are microcomputers it is called home pc or personal computer pc because it is a single user computer it supports many higher level languages multimedia graphics 3d graphics and games it is popular among students professionals and home wives due to small size low price and low maintenance cost and easy in operation the internet is popular due to pc and it is available for all income groups the american weekly magazine regarded it the machine of the year in 1982 when ibm launched pc in the market first time the first ibm pc was equipped with the following components intel 8088 processor of 4.77 megahertz 64 kb ram expandable to 256 kb 40 mb rom 5.25 inch floppy drive 160 kb pc dos 1.0 ms dos example ibm pcs apple mac ibm ps2 etc multimedia computer the term multimedia is not unknown among computer users multimedia is a combined form of two or more media like text graphics sound animation etc nowadays the multimedia pc is a choice of all analog digital computer adc converts the sound wave into a digital signal in a multimedia computer without the talk of mpeg motion picture expert group the multimedia is incomplete it is a standard used to compress sound audio and videos for the computer it is named mpeg1 mpeg2 etc the creative sound blaster 16 bits is proved as revolutionary steps in the world of multimedia and computer became more popular than television sets